You can't shoot your gun without a trigger, so why not have a really good trigger? And John, too many triggers. You guys have been making good triggers for a long time now. Since 1946, Tom. 1946. Do you have any idea how many triggers you have? Oh, Lord. Uh, <laughs> nope. North of 180. Holy cow. Yeah. Pretty much anybody who says, would you make a trigger for me, you'll at least listen to them. Absolutely. Okay, you so know, that's how you end up with this thing. People, people send us emails all the time saying, hey, would you make a trigger for blah, blah, blah. Right. And a lot of them were two-stage AR-15 triggers. Yeah, but you didn't want to do that. I said, no, I'm a single-stage <laughs> trigger kind of a guy. Uh -huh. And that's how we've been making triggers for more than 60 years. Well, for a long time. The whole, in fact, you even made single-stage triggers to replace military two-stage triggers. Tons and tons, all the time. Okay, so now you're making a two-stage trigger. What's up with that? People want them. We listened to our customers and they said, hey, we want a two-stage trigger, something we can use for, say, a tactical situation. Right. I'm shooting an AR-15, I'm 300 yards out, and I don't want that three-pound pull. Okay. I want to be able to pull that trigger just a little bit, settle in on the target, and put another two pounds on it and let it go. Okay, so what do we have What do we, for the pull weight on this? Pull weight on this is five pounds total. Right. Three pounds is in the first stage. You pull that three pounds. You, you can feel come, some movement. Yeah, you feel maybe a quarter inch of movement. Okay. Then it comes to a definite stop, a wall. Right. And then at that point, you put two more pounds of pressure against it, bam, it goes off. So it's, it's much more precise for long distance stuff. For okay. running and gunning, you, you really still want a single stage trigger that you can go bap, 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 bap with. Right, right. But for the tactical long range precision work, okay. that would be and, and of course, stage. the nice part about ARs is you can take out your single stage, put in your two stage, you can go back and forth if you want to. With this trigger, you can. It's totally modular, so you just put it in, drop a new one in, that's that. But with uh, most AR-15 triggers, they're a bag full of parts. Ah, you wouldn't want to do that. There you go. Tell me triggers, giving you what you want again. Let's talk about two stage triggers. Well, first of all, Let's just establish most AR triggers are not very good. They're just stock triggers. Well, and that's why the Timmy triggers are so popular. But a two-stage trigger is all about accuracy, but it's important to know how to run it. So let's talk about that. A two-stage trigger means simply that first stage, you put your finger on the trigger, and then you're gonna take up the slack. See that? Taking up the slack. And then you kind of meet what they call the wall. And you can feel it. And now you press it, and you're gonna get a nice crisp break of the trigger. So that's something you can practice at home and get used to running a two-stage trigger. So let's just shoot a little bit and I'll kind of show you what this looks like. All right, same deal. Take up the slack and then meet the wall and press the shot. Reset, take up the slack, break the shot. You can even hear that reset. If you practice with a two-stage trigger, you can be very, very accurate with your AR.